How do you compare and convert different units of capacity in the customary system? Today, you will learn how to convert and compare units of capacity. First, some vocabulary. Capacity is defined as the amount a container can hold. So usually when we think about capacity, we're measuring it in terms of volume or the amount of liquid that a container can hold. So all the units of capacity that we'll be looking at today are going to be talking about liquid units. So here's the table that gives us the customary units of capacity. We'll see that there are eight fluid ounces in one cup. There are two cups to one pint, two pints to one quart, and four quarts to one gallon. You'll notice these are all in ounces, so we'll measure really the, measuring them in ounces, and specifically with the eight. So essentially, when we're trying to convert between different units of capacity, we're going to use this. Let's use the same strategies as we did with length. The only thing that's going to be different is the equivalences that we have. So let's look at this problem. It says that Coral made 32 pints of fruit punch for a party. She needs to transport the punch in one quart containers. How many containers does Coral need? Well, we'll see here, based on our last table, we know that there are two pints to one quart, which means that we are taking a smaller unit And changing it to a bigger one. Pints are going to be less than a quart, which means, based on what we know, we're going to have to divide. So to start out with, we'll underline important information. We have 32 pints of fruit punch, and we need to transport the punch into a bunch of one quart containers. To start out with, our equation will be 32 pints. And again, since we're converting from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we're going to divide. So we'll divide by the number of pints in a quart. There are two pints in one quart. Okay. 32 divided by 2. 2 goes into 3 once. Bring down the 2, 2 goes into 12 six times, and we're left with the remainder of 0. So how many containers does Coral need? Coral needs 16 one quart containers. Simple enough. Now here's a practice problem for you to work on yourself. Pause the video and resume when you are ready to check your answer, but keep in mind that this question is asking us, will the bucket hold all the paint that Mara has? So we're going not only to just have to convert, we're going to have to compare. And keep that in mind as you solve the problem. Resume when you're ready to check your answer. All right. So this problem says that Mara has a can of paint with three cups of purple paint in it. She also has a bucket with a capacity of 26 fluid ounces. The question we're trying to answer is, will the bucket hold all of the paint that Mara has? So let's look at this. We'll see we have three cups, and we're going to compare that with a bucket that has a capacity of 26 fluid ounces. So the easiest way to do this is for us to check and see that we're going to have cups. We're going to convert this into fluid ounces. Since cups are greater than fluid ounces, that's going to tell us that we have to multiply. So 
So let's start out with that. So we have three cups. We're going to multiply that by the number of ounces in a cup, since we're changing it to ounces, right here. There are eight fluid ounces in one cup. Eight times three is going to be 24 fluid ounces. So Mara has three cups of purple paint or 24 fluid ounces. So now we're going to try to figure out, she has a bucket here that is 26 fluid ounces. And we want to know if the bucket's going to hold all the paint. Or will it overflow? Well, the only reason it would overflow is if Mara has more paint or than the bucket can actually hold if the paint, the bucket doesn't have enough capacity to hold the paint. Well, we see that's where we're going to have to compare. Her paint comes to a total of 24 fluid ounces we have to compare that to 26 fluid ounces, which is the full capacity of the bucket. Well, 24 is less than 26, and I'll actually do that in a different color so you can see it better. 24 is less than 26, which means that if you took all three of her cups and poured it into her bucket, she would be left with two extra fluid ounces, which means that the bucket can hold all of the paint that Mara has. That's one way, and that's probably going to be the easiest way. Now, some of you might have used mixed, mixed measures, so let's check how to do that quickly. Some of you might want to change this as a mixed measure. Let's do that quickly. We have three cups and 26 fluid ounces, so again, we're going to compare three cups to fluid ounces, or 26 fluid ounces. Let's keep cups the same, and let's instead convert fluid ounces into cups. So we have fluid ounces, we're going to go into cups, and fluid ounces are less than cups, so we're going from a smaller to a bigger number. When we go from a smaller to a bigger number, we're going to divide. So we have 26 fluid ounces divided by 8 fluid ounces per cup. Let's set that up as regular long division. 8 goes into 26 three times. 8 times 3 is 24. We're left with a remainder of 2. So the bucket has a capacity of 3 cups. And actually, let me give it a little bit more space here. three cups, two fluid ounces, which is greater than her three cups of paint. So we'll still have the same conclusion. Different units, but we'll still see that the bucket has a greater capacity than all the paint that Mara has. In this lesson, you have learned how to convert units of capacity in the customary system.